Yeah, come on, Jane, you can do it. Push, push. Uh, I'm pushing. Uh, don't put it so hard. Ah, uh, you almost there, Jane. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I can see it coming out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> the last chips. It's worth the pain. When a sperm and egg join and implant in a uterus, a pregnancy has begun. A human pregnancy lasts approximately 40 weeks from the first day of the pregnant person's last menstrual period. A pregnancy is divided into three segments called trimesters. Each trimester includes some common symptoms and milestones. During the first trimester, from week 1 through week 12, a pregnant person may experience morning sickness. Morning sickness can cause nausea and vomiting. For some, it happens in the morning, but for others, they may feel nauseous all day long. Eating dry crackers, such as salty cracks, can ease the nausea. Other symptoms of pregnancy during the first trimester include feeling tired, becoming sensitive to certain smells, craving particular foods, experiencing swollen or tender breasts, and needing to urinate or pee more frequently than usual. The second trimester of pregnancy begins in week 13 and runs through week 26. By the beginning of this trimester, most fetuses will have grown to about the size of a peach and will weigh approximately 28 grams. At this stage of pregnancy, a healthcare professional can often tell the sex of the fetus with some degree of certainty. During this trimester, a pregnant person will gain a noticeable amount of weight. They may also experience nasal congestion, dizzy spells, leg cramps, groin pain or backaches. Many pregnant people also begin to develop dark patches on the skin of their abdomen or face. These spots usually fade after giving birth. It is during this trimester, usually between the 16th and the 25th week, that a pregnant person may begin to feel movement inside their uterus. By the end of this trimester, the fetus will have grown to about the size of a melon and will weigh a little more than 500 grams. The third trimester begins in week 27 and lasts until the person gives birth, which is usually around the 40th week. In this, the last trimester of pregnancy, the fetus grows rapidly, gaining weight and developing each week. This stage of pregnancy may cause discomfort for the pregnant person as the uterus stretches even further to accommodate the growing fetus. The pregnant person also may experience shortness of breath and heartburn and may find they have trouble sleeping. In this, the third trimester, some people experience false contractions or cramps. These are practice contractions, known as Braxton Hicks contractions. True labor contractions usually begin a few weeks or days before childbirth. They are more regular and more predictable than Braxton Hicks, and they grow closer together and stronger over time. Strong, regular contractions are a sign that labor has begun. Once in labor, the pregnant person, along with their healthcare provider, will determine if they can have a vaginal birth. During a vaginal birth, the uterus contracts to push the baby out through the cervix, down the vaginal canal, and out the vaginal opening. If a vaginal birth is not what is best for the baby or the pregnant person, a healthcare provider can do a caesarean section or C section. A C section is a surgery during which the baby is taken out through the pregnant person's abdomen. Once the baby is born, the umbilical cord is cut, separating the baby from the parent for the very first time. This doesn't hurt the baby or their parent. The place where the umbilical cord was attached to the baby eventually becomes their belly button. Isn't the human body amazing? Mm. Till next time, don't forget to visit me at amaze.org.za or go to my YouTube channel to watch more. Bye!